we've lived in the Blue Mountains for 26 years now and it's just such a powerful landscape and it's just so varied. Charles Darwin actually described it as looking like eroded sea floor with towering sea cliffs. When you mention bats to people, they tend to straight away think of flying foxes because they're the large, noisy bats that are much more obvious. I think when people first see a microbat, they're just utterly enchanted. They're not vampires, they don't bite you, they don't get caught in your hair. The insectivorous bats, they're all around us. It's just people aren't aware of them. People don't go out very much at night. They replace the insectivorous birds that eat the, the daytime insects. Bats like hollows, and we're lucky in the Blue Mountains that we don't have that many caves, but we do have rock crevices. We're using a harp trap, which we're setting up on a corridor, which is an old bushwalking track. The wing membrane is like the most finest, thinnest leather you're ever likely to encounter. Bats play a really important role in the ecosystem. The flying foxes with pollination and seed dispersal and the microbats with insect control. They're actually the most complex, exquisite little creatures that we have on the planet. A, a world without these animals is unthinkable. 